Hey Black Hatters, it's Alley Cat and the Black Hat. And I know I said I wasn't going to do any more videos this week, but I feel like why not? Why not do some? Um, on Wednesday, if you caught, I did a live stream and we discussed um, hobbies and crafts, crafts of the craft. We talked about enchantments you can use for everyday items and practical magic, like using it as practical magic. And then we kind of started talking about well, I start talking about, because some of you asked a few questions, about my Christopaganism belief and just basically about my religion. And while we were in this subject, we were talking, or in this discussion, the subject came up of altars. And I kind of got inspired to show a little bit more of my altars, because I have them strewn throughout the house. Because I've told you before that I believe in sacred spaces. And sacred space for me is my entire downstairs area. It's where I feel comfortable in my little efficiency apartment, basement, dungeon, <laughs> as I like to call it, the dungeon. <laughs> um, so I thought I would show you a few little things here and there of my altars. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is my, what I call my tranquility meditation altar. This is basically where I have my wax warmer set up. Currently in my wax warmer is Fairy Kisses by um, this little light of mine. I have my blue candle that I, I think blue in it for me is like a tranquil color. So that's what I have there. My little fairy is there. And of course, since this is my end table right next to my sofa, I have my little um, glass press flower coasters. That's the word I'm looking for. And of course, remotes and Kleenexes and stuff. And this is the vase I was talking about that I change out with each of the Sabbaths, which still has Eul in and I never did any of the other Sabbaths. Gonna get better on doing that. And then this morning, I was working with um, the Bible. I was going over some scripture and I did some spreads from my I Am Power deck. So that's just basically my little tranquility meditation altar. Very quick and brief. This shelf right here is on my um, my main dresser that I have. And this is my familiar um, altar. This is where I have remnants of all of my familiars. This box right here holds the ashes of my first cat angel. And this is her little tag and collar. And I found this at the dollar store years and years and years ago, little cat figurine with angel wings. And I thought it was perfect to go with Angel because she was a cat and her name was Angel. Gidget, I did not have cremated for me to have personally. So I have just a, a little gray tabby cat statue that I had found for years. And I used her as a remembrance item for Gidget. And then... My mother had given me this. My mom found that, and it's perfect. Cats leave footprints on your heart. There are for sure cat footprints on my heart. So I hung that on the shelf, too. And this is currently Jingles. <laughs> currently Jingle Bells. Little collar. Pink with, you know, of course, a bell and some rhinestones. But she never wears it because she wants to always take it off. And... This is the little, um, I found this little votive candle holder a long time ago. And so I put my, my little tea light candles in there. And when I do my lighting, when I do my, um, candlelight ceremonies, I always light that in remembrance of all of my familiars that have passed before me and the ones that are currently with me, which would be Jingle, who is lounging in the window. Aren't you so pretty? you are and then right next to it is my actual altar as you can see it is so cluttered and I have no space for anything um my books are all along the back like you can't even hardly see some of them and my sacred bears up there my floral crowns my Shirley Temple doll which I didn't think would go with my altar but yet it should be because my aunt Brenda that was one of her prized possessions she has now since she's passed in 2014 and not 2014 2004 Woo! Woo! <laughs> and 
that was one of the items that I held on to from her. So that's kind of, in a way, an ancestor item, always remembering her. And I have my picture frames up here, my god and goddess candles, my tarot, uh, my oracle decks are back there. I have an offering plate here that one of my friends made for me. And currently I have flowers to offer for the Fae because it was Beltane. And I have my sticky positivity notes there. My One of my incense um, plates. And it's also where I have my rocks and so such forth. My rose quartz, my moonstone, my river rocks. My sun is back there. See, there you can see some of my books. <laughs> it's just kind of crowded. <laughs> and that's where I hang all of my crafts for my witchy stuff. Running, running, running out of space. If I move it to the bookshelf that I'm going to show you after this, you'll see how I'd have so much more space. So, that's it. Okay, so this bookshelf right here is the bookshelf that I was talking about in my live stream about where I want to move my current altar at and leave because I'm running out of room on my um, altar currently, my main altar, because it's just the top of a dresser. So I thought this would be perfect because I have one shelf up here that I could put things on, two, three, four, and five. And I thought that the top would be mostly where I would do my main work and leave out things that I would want to leave out, like a traditional altar layout, so to speak. And then um, for the first shelf, I think I would do some knickknacks and things that, you know, storing some herbal jars and like essential oils there and whatnot. The second or the third shelf, I think I would be using as my witchy bookshelf. I can't remember which one it is because these shelves, I'm trying to get here with the light. These shelves, if you can tell, they are actually in the bookcase. Like I can't move them. So where they're at is where they're at. Um, but it's either the second or the third one that it's a little like higher and I can actually squeeze taller books up. I think it's this first one because that's where I have my Harry Potter books. It's behind the box. The pretty Alice Moon sent me. That's where I have it stored for right now. Because um, I'm literally running out of space. So this is the bookshelf that my grandfather built with his bare hands. And I've had since I was two. And I'm 29. So two. It's a long time. I've had this bookshelf for 27 years. I have moved several times and it has sustained and still is sticking with me and I've been feeling a calling that this is where it needs to go but as you can see it is full of all of this stuff so I gotta find places to move it I mean I might actually keep my little angel bears because you've heard me talk about how I love angels and if you heard me talk about my teddy bear collection there's a few of them <laughs> Um, so I will have to move this stuff and I can maneuver and maybe put, if I get those, um, like little three shelf bookshelves that they have at like Walmart, I could possibly put all of the, seriously, dad, my dad's in the background banging shoes. Probably because he's ready to go and I'm still filming. Ha 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 He loves me though. Okay, so anyway. If I get those like three like like three shelf book sh cases from Walmart or wherever, I think that that would be able to work. I can put all of my books on there. And then I can just move that bookcase to another area in my room where I think it'll work well. And then I can put all of my things on this. And I can move the stereo to where my main altar is now. So this is where I'm hoping to put my main altar at. And it's not far. Like, there's my TV and all my DVDs. But it's not far from where I film and my tree for all seasons, which is bare at the moment besides white lights because I have been so busy I didn't have a chance to decorate it for Beltane. <laughs> 
I know. Shame, shame, shame on me. But I still have all the stuff for it, and I'm still going to decorate it, and it won't get redecorated until summer solstice. Really? Yes. I love you. Come on. I want to go. <laughs> all right. So enough of that. Catch me later. I'll see you later. Bye. So that's it for this little altar tour. So you got to see a little bit of my altars strewn throughout my sacred space and how they, you know, things that they mean to me. And there's still several other items where there's just little knickknacks thrown throughout that mean something to me. And so I feel like they're just as powerful as well. But I showed you the main ones and the main altar that desperately needs a new location. <laughs> so I'm going to get out of here. Dad's getting impatient. <laughs> But thankfully, he's willing to let me do these things and willing to be patient and loving and kind to let me do these things. <laughs> all right. So much love to you all. Blessed be. Have a good day. I'm out.